morning students we will continue with unit 2 soil water plant relationship and water requirement of crops topic number 2 which is soil fertility manure and fertilizer soil fertility manure and fertilizer when crops are grown one after the other it decreases the productivity of the soil however this can be overdone by adding manures and fertilizers to the soil this increases the yield of the plants and also restores the productivity of the soil therefore manures and fertilizers are paramount for efficient crop production so we add manure and fertilizers which compensate for the infertility of the soil here you can see a picture of fertilizer and manure manure it is a natural fertilizer to make manure decomposition of plants and animal waste is done by farmers the product of this decomposition is material rich in organic matter which we call manure manure does not have a high content of nutrients instead it gives fertility to the soil by adding humus this improves the soil's physical properties with better retention of moisture and more aeration and since manure is made entirely of organic materials, it does not contribute to any form of pollution. In fact, it reduces waste on the farm by decomposing waste materials to make manure. Fertilizers, they are natural or synthetic materials that we add to the soil to provide the plants with the nutrients they need. They can be organic or inorganic in nature. They work by providing plants and crops with nutrients they need to grow to their fullest and at a faster rate that attained via a natural process. Chemical-based fertilizers also act as an insecticide protecting plants from pests and insects. Fertilizers are economically very beneficial to farmers. They expedite plant growth and are not very expensive to procure. Fertilizers also increase the yield from a farm. The plants also have a superior appearance. That is, appear greener and healthier when we use fertilizers. However, fertilizers can also have a harmful effect on the environment. They contain synthetic chemicals that are not biodegradable. They can use pot soil and water pollution. They can cause pot soil and water pollution. Over time, fertilizers also make the soil acidic in nature, causing soil degradation. So between manure and fertilizers, fertilizers are a better source of nutrients for the plant. Manure is a better alternative as far as the environment is concerned. Students, write down the assignment for lecture number six. After this, I will show you a video Thank you. Thank you. 
fertilizers and soil fertility management. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define and describe manure, define and describe fertilizers and explain soil fertility management. Agriculture is one of the major professions for many people all over the world. We human beings solely depend on agriculture to satisfy all our daily food needs and to sustain life on earth. It is one of the reasons why we have the liberty of choosing so many food types and flavors. Are you aware of the several factors that are involved in agriculture which provides us with disease-free and nutritious food? It is a fact that a plant species requires around 18 essential elements for its growth. Out of the 18 elements, only 3 elements that are obtained from sunlight, air and water are readily available to the plants. Then what about the remaining 15? Have any idea? Yes, the plants entirely depend on the soil for the remaining 15 elements that are minerals. Every soil type should possess the potential and the capacity to continuously provide all these essential nutrients that are required for proper plant growth. But continuous exploitation of the soil through round-the-year cultivation of a single crop or intercultural operations wears out the soil as well as it has the tendency to reduce the nutrient content present in the soil. Hence, it is necessary that every farmer should keep the soil rich in nutrients and minerals by applying appropriate manures and fertilizers for sustainable agriculture. Thus, manures and fertilizers have become an essential entity of modern-day agriculture in maintaining soil fertility. Now, let us discuss about manures, fertilizers and soil fertility management. Manures Manures are generally denoted as the materials that are derived from organic wastes and crop residues without the addition of any other chemical components. Thus, manures are said to be of organic nature. They provide various nutrients to the plants. In addition, manures also contribute in improving the physical, chemical and biological properties of the soil. Manures can be categorized into two types, based upon the concentration of the plant nutrients that it provides. They are bulky organic manures and concentrated organic manures. Bulky organic manures contain minimal amounts of nutrients and hence are required in larger quantities. Some of the examples are farmyard manures, green manures, vermicompost and sludge. Concentrated organic manures have high amounts of plant nutrients compared to the bulky organic manures. So, the requirement is very minimal. Some of the examples are oil cake, meat meal, etc. Importance of organic manures. Organic manures are easily available in all climatic conditions. Organic manures do not need any additional components to react with the soil. Animal manure, which is one of the types of organic manures, can also be prepared from slurry that is easily available in agricultural lands. They can also be used as a fuel. An example is cow dung. Organic manures increase the fertility and maintain the longevity of soil fertility. Moreover, the traditional organic manure is challenging the modern-day fertilizers. Fertilizers Fertilizers are materials that are said to be of natural or synthetic origin. They have a definite chemical composition and the ability of supplying more nutrients to soil than the manures. Basically, fertilizers are produced from inorganic compounds excluding urea and calcium cyanamide. Based upon the amount of nutrients, fertilizers are categorized into three types. They are straight fertilizers, complex fertilizers and mixed fertilizers. Straight fertilizers are made up of a single chemical compound that acts as the primary nutrient.
Complex fertilizers have more than one primary nutrient type, whereas mixed fertilizers are said to be a combination of both straight and complex fertilizers. Now, let us discuss about the differences between manures and fertilizers. It is very necessary to know the differences in order to apply them based upon the cultivation requirements. Some of the major differences between manures and fertilizers are manures are of natural origin, whereas the fertilizers are of synthetic origin. Manures are economical, whereas fertilizers are very costly. Organic manures contain all the essential nutrients, whereas fertilizers contain only the specific nutrients. Even though manures have all the essential nutrients, it contains relatively less amount of plant nutrients, whereas fertilizers are rich in plant nutrients. Since manures are of natural origin, they do not cause harmful effects to living beings. While the fertilizers create health problems to living beings due to its synthetic origin, both manures and fertilizers are essential for maintaining the soil fertility. Soil fertility Soil fertility can be defined as the ability of the soil to accept, store and transfer energy in order to support the growth of plants. Soil fertility management the study which deals with the management of physical, chemical and biological components of the soil to know its current nutrient status and the capacity to provide nutrients in order to increase the fertility of the soil is known as soil fertility management. Soil fertility management generally deals with the methods that are concerned with soil conservation, crop rotation and manure and fertilizer applications according to the requirements. Thus, soil fertility management has become a vital component in the growth of various crops around the world. Summary Well, that has been an interesting lesson about introduction to manures, fertilizers and soil fertility management. Let us do a recall of what we have studied so far. Manures are generally denoted as the materials that are derived from organic wastes and crop residues without the addition of any other chemical components. Fertilizers have a definite chemical composition and the ability of supplying more nutrients to soil than the manures. Soil fertility can be defined as the ability of the soil to accept, store and transfer energy in order to support the growth of plants. Adding manure and fertilizers. Adding manure. Plants need nutrients for their growth. These nutrients are obtained by plants from the soil. If same crop is taken on the same land one after the other, then it reduces certain nutrients from the soil, due to which the crop production reduces. In such case, if land is left uncultivated for some time, then these can be replenished, that is, becomes available again. One more method to ensure nutrients in the soil is by adding manure. Manure is an organic substance which is obtained from decomposition of plants or animal waste. Usually, 
plants and animal waste is kept in the pit at open places. Microorganisms decompose the waste and produce organic manure. Adding manure in soil is called manuring. Improper and insufficient addition of manure results in weak plants. Adding fertilizers. Another way of enriching soil with nutrients is by use of fertilizers. Fertilizers are chemical substances produced in chemical factories and are rich in particular nutrient. These are used to enrich soil with nutrients. For example, NPK contains nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium nutrients. Other fertilizers are urea, ammonium sulfate, superphosphate, potash, etc. Fertilizers are provided to plants by spraying or through irrigation. Using fertilizers, the production of wheat, paddy and maize is significantly improved. However, due to excessive use of fertilizers, soil becomes acidic or alkaline, because of which soil becomes less fertile. Fertilizers also cause water pollution by entering into river water from factories or with rainwater from fields. Even though fertilizers are very rich in nutrients, but still we should encourage the use of organic manure because of many advantages over fertilizers. These are Manure provides lot of humus to the soil. It enhances water holding capacity of soil. It loosens soil so that roots can breathe easily. It increases useful microbes in the soil. And it also improves soil texture. So, it is recommended to use organic manure for crop production. Crop Rotation there is yet another very efficient way to enrich soil with nutrients. It is by crop rotation. Growing different crops alternately one after another in the same land is called crop rotation. For example, earlier farmers of North India used to grow legumes as fodder in one season and wheat in next season. This helped to replenish nitrogen in the soil. This method is very efficient and so we should encourage farmers to use it. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Thank you for watching this video.